Welcome from Munich, we have the Huawei S10 P8 on the left and on the right we have the HEC One M9. Both beautiful devices with a full metal body. Now every high-end company is building full metal body smartphones like Apple, um, Samsung and all the other ones. We have comparison videos with the P8 of uh, them all here in our YouTube channel, so check those out. Here now on the left, the P8 which is with 6.4 millimeters, one of the slimmest smartphones out there in the premium segments. You can see here for example the um, HEC is is I think 7.1 or 2 millimeters thick so really a lot thicker on the thickest point on the bottom micro USB of course on both dual speaker on the Huawei on the bottom HEC has of course still there boom sound and we'll compare of course Huawei versus HEC in, our, in another video that we compare uh, different dual speaker systems um, against the Huawei. So you can see here also on the back a sticking out camera. Even if it's this thick, the HEC it still have a, has a th sticking out camera with, um, I think, they have now here also 20 megapixel like Sony does, for example, but only 30 megapixel here with Huawei, but it's not sticking out in this slim design. And dual flash is really quite amazing, which you, of course, also have here in your um, HEC 1M9, which has also full metal body. And this one is is actually also a golden version like the Huawei but this gold is looking a lot different than this gold except for from the back the Huawei is a little bit more golden but from the side the HEC is a little bit more golden which is quite interesting so from the side they seem to be about the same thickness here we have on one side a nano sim card slot and on the other side we have the micro SD uh, volume rockers here on and off switch same here volume rocker on and off switch micro SD nano sim so there we have all the same features and infrared is also missing on Huawei but a lot of people don't need that actually so that's why they leave it out to uh, have a little bit less money um, costs and then also your microphone and headset port is also here built in uh, with the Huawei S10 P8 that we have seen on the M9 on the bottom. Double tap is possible on both devices so that's quite nice so let's just open up here the camera on both by just selecting the camera and then we will take a picture of the devices here in the background. Let me just hold them both the way that you can see both with a fair comparison. And it seems to have, I don't know which, which one has a better wide angle. They seem to have similar wide angles, but the color on the right side is a little bit less vibrant. The display brightness is on both. Actually, the maximum display brightness that you can um, set the devices up with. In terms of speed, they should be also about the same. And yeah, they just both look quite uh, good here so I would say that's a tie even though the colors on the left are maybe a little bit whiter and everything but maybe you just want darker colors there so let me turn around the camera here to selfie and here let me turn around the camera also to selfie mode here up on top and then we can see that the wide angle we have both in picture mode right now is a little bit better on the HEC. You can see also my camera here uh, where you can also try to see that the quality on the Huawei is not as good with the 8 megapixel on front versus the ultra pixel 4 megapixel camera here by HEC on the right. And my head is not completely fitting in the picture on the HEC, interestingly, or on the Huawei, even though we have them both in almost the same height. 5 inches uh, versus 5.2 inches on the left uh, with full HD on both, so the quality should be about the same in that um, terms and yeah otherwise both beautiful devices both metal both about um, 700 versus 500 bucks so um, HEC is a little bit more expensive and um, but they start off with uh, 16 gigs and not only with uh, but they start off with 32 gigs and not only with 16 gigs so that's all right so this was a really short comparison between the Huawei Ascent P8 versus the HEC One M9. Battery sizes 2007 versus 2900 milliamps, so a little bit more on the HEC, but NFC and everything else is similar uh, with the micro SD, uh, except for the infrared, as I told you before, but that's not that important, and I wouldn't just buy a smartphone because it also has infrared inside. So, thank you much again for tuning in. Don't forget to subscribe. My name is Balaj. The next time, peace in again, and thank you much for watching.